My old Jameis mountain bike, we're ready for some spring upgrades, get her ready to turn it into a bit of a touring bike again. Shimano 9-speed cassette, this one's an 11 to 34 tooth, just a little bit more climbing power. This is the Yoder chain ring, a 44 tooth, same as the original that came on the bike. And here we have the middle ring, this one is a 32 tooth. And of course the 22 tooth inner ring. This is the, uh, the granny gear for the big climbs. So the old bottom bracket definitely has some play in it. You can feel it, the bearings are shot. Definitely need to get that thing off and put on the new bottom bracket before taking this bike for any long rides. And here we have the Crank Brothers double shot pedals. They are flats on one side and clip in on the other. Hey YouTube, Joe here. Another quick uh, cycling related video today. Uh, got the bike here, which I'm out picking for some bicycle touring, bike packing this year. And we've got some more no parts that have to go away. We've got, uh, we're going to be replacing the chain, the rear cassette, all three chain rings, bottom bracket, pedals. So what we got is a new Shimano cassette. It's an 1134. Replaces the original 1132. Got a rear view mirror. I've never used one of these on a bike before. But we're going to get that mounted on one of the handlebars. Get a little safety going on. Here's the new Shimano bottom bracket. We've got a little bit of play in the current bottom bracket right now. So I'm going to swap that out before going on the tour. Uh, new Shimano 9-speed chain, that's in need of replacing, oh, new tool as well, uh, this is for removing the, the current crank off, I didn't have this tool so I had to order one of these in, that's from Park. You've got a set of Crank Brothers pedals, these are the reversible ones, flats on one side, and uh, Clip, clip in on the other side. You can't really see it good on the box. I'll open it up for you here in a second. And a set of three chain rings. 22 tooth inner ring, 32 tooth middle ring, and a 44 tooth outer ring. That will replace the originals on there, so we're going to have a whole new drivetrain. Now just bear with me a moment. I'll open up these pedals. on one side, casual ride and just uh, heading out to the grocery store or something like that around town, just wear whatever shoes I'm wearing. And on the other side is the Crank Brothers style egg beater pedals. And yeah, and here's the cleats that'll go on the new cycling shoes. You got some Pearl Azumi shoes. They're not out here right now. They're in the house. It arrived with some earlier. Those will be going on shoes to go with these pedals and the video I did last night if I don't know if you've seen that that's on the Crank Brothers uh, M19 multi tool I did a video on that last night if you want to check that out maybe I'll leave a link down in the description so I'm going to start stripping this down shortly and then we'll come back and uh, add a little more to the video and I'll see you then Okay, so we've got the old chain off and we've got the back wheel here. We're going to take a couple tools here and remove the old cog set. Okay, chain whip. This will keep the cassette from moving while we turn this to get her off. Right 
about that. Pop the chain lift offer and just slide this old guy right off. I'm going to set that down here. It's newspaper on the ground. The old parts. You won't be needing that again. You won't be needing that. I had this off just recently, checking out the wheels, so everything's nice and clean here still. Yeah, there's still a good amount of lube. A little dab more here. One second here, I'll grab a rag. Set was in the 1132. The new one I got is in the 1134. I'm a little bit older than I used to be, so the extra couple teeth will just give me a little bit more help on the bigger climbs, especially when the bike is loaded for bicycle touring or bike packing. Get this lined up just the right way here. Where is it? There we go. Same idea here, we won't need the chain whips because we're going to be tightening this time. Put the lock ring in, get that started. Here's the old cassette, cassette. and so yeah, it needed changing. This one's probably four or five, five years old. Later. Later. Pause the video now, and get on with the next part, and I'll be back. Okay, it's time to get this old crank off so we can change out those chain rings and work on the bottom bracket. Okay, so we've got the crank apart now. Drive side here, non-drive side here. That thing was on there. Took some serious muscle power to get that thing off using the crank puller, but it's off. Ready to clean things up. We take these chain rings off and replace them with some new ones. As you can see, these are pretty grubby right now. But we'll get that done and we'll get back at it. change in plans since the uh, first part of this video. A few days have gone by now. I've obviously gotten a haircut. I actually got a haircut the next day. We we're into a massive heat wave. It was 41 degrees Celsius with the humidity. So yeah, don't think you get a haircut. Anyways, where I left off on the bike here, I was tinkering away a little bit more and I realized I didn't have the correct tool for removing the bottom bracket when the crank was off. So I ended up putting the crank back on getting the bike back together more or less. Took it down to a local bike shop, uh, Community Spokes, it's a cooperative. You can go there, use their tools and whatever. So I did that, changed it at the bottom bracket. The old one definitely had a lot of play in it side to side, so the bearings were toast. Got the new one in, got the bike back, started tinkering with it a little bit more, started setting up the front derailleur, and realized the uh, front derailleur cable's pretty much worn out. I was looking at the rear brake cable, that's hanging by a thread. So a day or two, like two days later, when they got some new uh, brake cables at the local bike shop at uh, Petrie's. So a pair of derailleur cables, a pair of brake cables. I would probably only have to replace two cables right now, but this will give me some spares kicking around. And uh, I still have to put on the new pedals. A couple other little things to do to it. Got a bell I'm going to put on the handlebars and the mirror. And uh, put all that off for a few days because as you saw, I had the bike hanging from here, I was working down off the ground, 
literally on the knees working on the lower end of the bike and I got tired of that. I used to have a nice bike stand, sold that off years ago and moving. So, I'm going to pause this video and uh, tell you why. This just came in the mail yesterday, this big box. And this is why I held off on doing the rest of the bike repairs until after this box arrived. So I'm going to do a separate video on the contents of this box. That will be coming out probably later today. I'm going to get this video finished up for now. We're going to call this part one. I'll get that video loaded up. Then I'll come back out and uh, do a video on the contents of this box and why I decided to wait for that to finish up the rest of the work on this bike. So stay tuned for that, and I will be back soon. I'll get this video up now, and I'll get to work on the next one.